All right, hello everyone. I'm gonna try and show how you create a livery template or make a livery, however you want to look at it. Uh, this is one that's that I've already done here, so I'm basically just gonna show you how I got the folders and and how you where, what the files are. So let's have a look. This isn't really how to make a livery or color a livery. It's more about the how-to as far as finding the files, finding the right files, what they do, why you're following certain things. All right. So uh, I've already covered the VFS in another uh, video, so I'm going to move through that pretty quick. Uh, and I mean, most people should know how to uh, build a livery folder. Uh, all aircraft stuff goes into these two. And then the content, borrow from some other one, this one, or some other one. Uh, I'll put the link to this one in the tab. But that's wrong. Technically, that should be the same as this. Okay, that's a mistake. We'll move on. <laughs> So here, this is our uh, VFS projected drive. So I'll we'll find the, uh, this was on the, uh, the Havilland. And this is their name for it. Uh, that's why I looked at it. Make it easier to find. But we're going to reproduce the uh, folder names that they use. That's basically what we're doing. Some objects, airplanes. Some objects, airplanes. So we're in the same directory. And here it is. So you just start out by creating your, you know, two known folders. And then you go in here, find the aircraft, copy the name. And once you're in here, this is the folder you need. This is the only one you're really interested in. Remember, this is on the server. And so I'll we'll go in here. Again, replicate the names, simply. And, uh, oh boy. <laughs> now, he did some funny stuff. How did I even find this? All right, so he just named them like that. But what we're looking for is floats. And wheels. So there it is. He's got floats and wheels. That means that's the only two we have. Well, I made it some fancy name. Floats and wheels. Because once you're in here, once you're in the... Uh, we're now putting it in the exact same location, well, right here beside these. We could name this anything because we're gonna. This is our livery folder. So he has just one, two, three, four, five, six. But it's floats and wheels, and I know that because of this required tag. Uh, and this is just the name that'll display. So we will copy one of each. So you copy one over here, the floats, copy one wheels over here. And then you rename those and you have to edit this. This you want to leave alone. This this is again your livery now. This you leave alone, that's what tells it which variant to use. And uh, you shouldn't have to do anything else. Uh, other than add your, your textures. So at that point, uh, which ones do we have here? We go. So the, the textures are all in, uh, the exterior textures here are all here, which is the ones I grabbed, right? Yeah. 
I didn't get any interiors and I grab these the appropriate ones that you have the 01 is going to be uh, XD. I think these are I'll have to look I, I, I looked I, I don't know for sure these are even the right texture I think these are the different uh, LOD uh, loads yeah these are different LODs I hope but maybe just different files for different parts so you may have to do some digging and figure out which uh, files you need uh, and the panel oh okay see I here I'm, I'm making a panel I'm, I'm removing the uh, dynamic registration so you can you can uh, just comment I, I've got the original commented out here it's black the black registration you could move that down and go back to the black dynamic this is actually the dynamic uh, and the thumbnails I have another one where you show you how to get the thumbnails there's three of them I think it makes four or five but that's about it you uh, I didn't do any textures in here uh, I think I might have put a fall back to the default or it was in here yeah it was already in here so I included it in mine I should probably have a fall back to this one like that Another mistake. In fact, I think I will save that and re upload that because that is a mistake. Uh, Yeah, that way if you don't have all the files, it'll fall back to the uh, default. Alright, so I just found out I did it. But that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, you know, getting these files is a pain. Now, there's two things you have to watch. See where it says texture, interior, and texture? You need those. Okay, so where do you get the name of those folders? Well, right here, but what do they mean? You also see the tag, wheels. Where does that come? Because you'll need that. In other words, that one says wheels. This one says floats. Well, where does that come from? Well, yeah, technically it comes... Where am I? I'm not on the... Oh, I'm in the... Uh, dang it. I do that all the time. <laughs> Close the uh, folder I was working in. I did th this one because it's actually fairly simple. Some of these have just a dozen parts in them, and you got to get one of each part. That's the other thing I guess I should mention. Uh, yeah. I forgot where I was at. Oh, where these come from. And 
which is also happens to be uh, where this uh, the names come from interior and exterior and that would be in the attachments because the, these are these are the parts and then this is the uh, a variant but this required tags if you look did I, I don't have that those up here now there's three folders here that are three SDK documents that I went through. This is mostly about building liveries for a project you have. It didn't really help me much for after doing aftermarket. Uh, then we had uh, the livery config, which is the one I showed you the tags. This, uh, that, yeah. To find in the attachment config. Uh, that's where we were headed, and that's in the attachments. And that would be, this is actually just a, uh, uh, a filter. It, it filters it out. If, if it doesn't have this tag, then it won't display it. And in this case, it was floats. So there's the attachment config. That's where that, uh, that required tag and our livery config came from right there okay, it's inside the floats attachment and that's what it is what that uh, does is it tells us to only load oh, only, yeah, to only load this livery if that component is is part of the liver as part of it now this one tag is for wheels so it's Well, then, so there's where that tag came from. And then the interior and exterior is pretty much just that. That's a uh, That's the other dock I didn't bring up yet. <laughs> yeah, presets. Oh, okay. This is in the attached objects. So this is what it shows in the attached objects, which would be in the presets. That what I'm going to Exterior, interior, attach to model. So I'm thinking this is the one they're using. Airframe model. It's the attachment. It is the tags. It's the tags and the attachment config. So I must be in the wrong attachment config. Same thing. Same thing. Comes from the same place. Thought it did. So they both come from in here. Function interior. But it's showing cockpit. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Something's not right there. But anyway, that's where you get it from is I got it from, from their livery 
folder here. In other words, you, these are the folders you, you need in your library. It's whatever is in, in the VFS of the same one. You're going to want these. These, and this is required. This you'll edit to make your livery name. Uh, the specializations are for to to fil further filter it with uh, the uh, career uh, missions, but since third party won't work for those, and then uh, yeah, you'll want to add back to that. You'll want to add that to any livery. That's where the fil uh, base files are at, right? Yeah, so you'll want to add that. Uh, I'm betting this one has it. Has it. No, it just goes to common. So you want the common too. <laughs> this should have the common. No. Anyway, you'll may maybe want to check your uh, your fallbacks if you can't get it to work. Some of them, like a, there's a lot of different ways they can do uh, with the with the modular. They can really get funky. Let's look at a slightly different one, just for fun. Yeah, see, they they really, but it, okay, this one has part airframe and exterior. Uh, this is. Again, dynamics, which I don't really... You can remove for static louvers. And here he's requiring an airframe. I don't know why it would require an airframe. Let's see what this one requires. Yeah, I, I, that's just... Should, they should all require the airframe. So yeah, he's not really using the tag. As far as I can see, you wouldn't even need that tag. They're doing a little bit different. They have a, a, a base default that they're both probably uh, falling back to. That's actually the, the modular. See, they don't even have any textures there. Uh, yeah, I still have, have some learning to do myself on, on some of this. It's, it's ridiculous. And this one's just a uh, yeah. So this this isn't even a modular. I think again I do. Uh, you got to find the one that's uh. It's easiest to find one that's uh. Not modular because. All these editable col colors you don't need. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Just don't use them. But yeah, you don't really need any of that unless you want to figure out how to use the uh, modular uh, skins they have. But that's where you, that's where you get the parts from. You got to have these names to match the. Uh, I don't have it there. I closed out the wrong folder. To match this folder, uh, the uh, attachments. And of course, if it's your own aircraft, you can do this in the menus, which might be a lot easier for most people to figure out. Uh, that, that's the problem with doing deliveries after the part. It's because it becomes very hard to to work after the fact you don't have a lot of the uh, resources in the SDK. Anyway, I hope that helps. Have a good day.